Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I had a special request from Judy for a simple pendant with a double loop for hanging. I am using the Beadalon 20 gauge square German wire, the nipper tool, the slimline chain nose pliers, the slimline round nose pliers, and the new bail making pliers from Beadalon. We are going to start with about 8 inches of 20 gauge square beadalon German style wire and we'll put on a 10 millimeter bead. This is a hematite bead and we're going to wind the wire to the back and bring it all the way around. So we have one vertical wire and the wire to the back and then we're going to bend the vertical wire forward and take our bail making pliers and bring the wire around right around one full time adjust it and then we're going to bring it around again so bring it right around and the bail making pliers are perfect for this so the two loops will be the same size so we're going to bring the wire around sticking straight out at the front adjust the loop a little bit so just make sure it's nice and even and then bring the wire around to the back while holding the loop with the pliers. So remove the pliers and clip that end with the nipper tool and then just use your flat nose pliers or the chain nose pliers just to push in that end. Now we're going to bring the other wire around to the front of the bead. So holding it firmly with your thumb and finger, bring the wire around to the front. Just check that it's in the good position. Push it around, keeping the wires as pushed back as you can. And then just bring it right around again to the top. So it's gone around a couple of times and then we're going to hold it very firmly and bend the end around the upper wire. So bring it right around to the front and just give it a little wiggle so it's firmly in place and then clip that end so it's right flush against the front wires. And this is a little bit tricky. You want to push that end down so you can't see that little pokey end adjust the loop if you need to with the round nose pliers and there's our first design with the square wire now you could do the same with 18 gauge round artistic wire we're putting on a 10 millimeter miracle bead and we're going to bring the wire around to the back again holding it firmly as you do the twisting bring the vertical wire towards the front and get the bail making pliers and bring the wire around. So we're holding it with the pliers and bending the wire with our fingers to bring it around into a loop. Just keep wiggling it and adjusting it so it's in the position that you like. Bring the wire around a second time to make the double loop all the way around towards the front. Now hold the loop with your bail making pliers and bring the end around to secure it in place. So just keep pushing it until it's in the right place. Remove the pliers and get the nipper tool or your flush cutters to clip that end. And then we'll get our round nose pliers just to adjust the loop a little bit. And we're going to bring the wire around to the front. Make sure you're pulling it nice and snugly, holding the bead firmly with your thumb and finger and just work your way around one full turn and back up and pushing it so it's in a good position. So now it's up at the top. You might have to push the wire back a bit to show more of the bead. And then when you're happy with it, hold it firmly and bring the wire around to the front. 
So from there, we're going to clip that end flush. I cut my wire a little too long. It really depends on the size of your bead. And then once that end is clipped, we're just going to push it down with the chain nose pliers so it's flush with the wire and you can't see that end. Don't want any little pokey ends. And you could also just pinch it in with the end of the pliers as well. Some last minute adjustments with the round nose pliers. And there you have your finished pendant. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials eBook. You can get the templates in my Etsy DIY shop. Be sure to use the coupon code SAVE25 to save 25% when you purchase five or more templates, tutorials, or eBooks in my shop. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.